environmental issues are a global concern in agriculture, and that's especially true in Brazil. Farmers we spoke with see it as good business. Brazil is export-driven, and important customers like the European Union want to make sure food is produced meeting their standards. Farmers have been accused of cutting down the rainforest to grow sugar cane for ethanol, for example. Pedro Loyola is an economist with the Federation of Agriculture in Paraná, where our trip focused. Through our translator, he denied these claims. We can produce enough sugar cane for ethanol and sugar here in this region. It's not necessary to cut down the rainforest. As in the U.S., much of the original forest covering was cleared for farmland, but by law, larger growers must replant some of their land to native species. In Paraná, 20% must be set aside. Closer to the Amazon, up to 80% must be reforested. Though the law was modified last year, large buffer zones by waterways must also be maintained. The need for careful farming was obvious in Paraná, a series of very hilly plateaus that receives up to 55 to 75 inches of rain annually. Terraces were common, and the thin red soil, which covered everything from dogs to our tour bus, is a special concern, says James Thompson, Farm Futures blogger from Brazil. You can see how red the soil is and how powdery it is, and it, it blows far. The erosion is a big concern in this, in this country. The solution is one used in the U.S., says our tour guide, local farmer Daniel Rosenthal. We have a lot of rain here. We had the problems in the, in the 70s. Um, it was impossible to, to farm here anymore. So nowadays, uh, the no-till system is, is used in 100% of our farms. And the ability to grow two or even three crops a year means those fields are never bare, helping to keep production flowing onto the world market.